Welcome back. Now let's get cooking with TGG. Red light. Yes, sir. Today we're going to unbox the Solo Stove Mesa XL. This is the XL unit. We're going to open it together and we're going to put some wood and light this thing and enjoy it. Look at that, Jack. Comes with a nice carry bag. Nice vacuum seal together. Look at that. It is stainless steel with the ceramic coating, and that's it in the box. Should come with a stand. Get the air come out of there when you're done. All right, that's probably the lid, I would think, for the top. Looks like the stand, that's a foldable stand. So you got one foldable, collapsible stand there for sure. Look at that, pulls right out. Doesn't click or anything, but it just does that right there to hold it. And that's it. You get the one burn unit right there. So you see the top there, you have the built-in bottom, so you don't need anything for pellets because it's already there. Okay. So any of your ashes that don't fall through there will come out the sides, or you're just going to have to tip it out. One solid unit doesn't come apart. That's it. It's all stainless steel and a mulberry, like a maroon uh, ceramic outer right there. Literally, this is it. That's all there is to it. Check this out, Jack. You put your lid right there. That sets right in the top. Here's your little, it's for ambiance. So that's what it is, right? Mm -hmm. So pretty large hands. I mean, the top of it shows you that, the side. So I mean, for, for a table like this, you know, to sit around and make s'mores, uh, for a two to three foot radius ambiance, making s'mores is gonna be great. The whole idea behind the technology is the draft, right? It brings air in through here, brings it up through the top holes right here. So the air comes in the side, and it's going to come up in between. It's going to come up in between the walls, and uh, it's it, it's really to eliminate smoke. It's to keep a hot red flame, so you have little or less smoke. So Solo Stove will sell mini oak firewood. These pieces, I think, are like five inches. And I think these ones are made for the small Mesa, but the XL, I figured why not, we'll just use that. I don't know, it's probably a five pound box. Uh, the whole key to the stove is gonna be using dry stuff. Any fire you have, if you have wet wood, green wood, it's gonna smoke. I don't care what type of system you have. Here's what we're gonna use for this. You guys can go to blackbeardfire.com, use Todd10, T-O-D-D-1-0. You'll get a 10% discount on any Blackbeard Fire products. But I think these fire plugs are gonna be absolutely perfect. We're using our Mesa stove. I'm gonna start with two. I'm gonna take this lid off. It'll make it easier to load. You take your fire starters from Blackbeard, twist, turn, and you'll pull, and it creates nice cotton there. Just put those in the middle. We're gonna do two of them. One more. I'll put those right in the middle right there. I'm actually gonna build a four by four if I can right here, in between the fire starters right here. We're going to build it up like this. This is the first time for me using this, so I'm not really sure if this is the right way, the wrong way, but this is how we're going to do it today. We're not on survivor. We're not on survivor. Ole, ole, ole. And they said to keep the wood below the bottom here, so we're going to try that to start. And these things start right up. Blackbeard fire. Look at that. Boom. That's Blackbeard fire at its best right there. So as my wife said, look, it's smoking. Well, yes, Jackie, up here. Every fire is going to smoke, people at home. Everybody's like, it's smokeless. No, once it's hot and once it's lit. But you're always going to have smoke with fire, period. It's just starting. As it gets red hot, you get some cherries in the bottom. The wind is going to keep the smoke really to a minimum. So we do have our gazebo right here. That's how we got it to put on our table here. It's like any fire. you got to get it going or it's going to smoke. So get on it. Start low. So once it's going, as you see, the smoke is very minimal. And it is throwing off some good heat. Definitely, it's cold out here, Jackie. What is it, about 40s? 49. It's about 49 degrees, she says. All right, it's about 49 degrees, and it definitely throws off two foot of heat. So get that thing going. And they also said to keep the, the wood down below the holes. Which you're starting to build above. Which I'm starting to build above because I'm a guy and I like and big fires. Yeah, so but, now you're just, I can see it. You're at the hole. So now what? Look, we gotta listen to the instructions. It's the heat right now for being 40 out. It's warm. I mean, it's definitely, I can feel it. It makes, it's comfortable. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, 
when that gets nice and hot, wind calms down, it is so warm, the whole outside heats up. And it is very enjoyable. I mean, you feel the heat radiating off of that. It is very nice. So like any fire, once it's hot, you get cold, it's gonna be absolutely perfect. Ready, Jackie? What? You tell them. No. Cook fresh, cook off, and keep cooking with TGG. No, no, ready? No, no, All right, ready, yeah. Jackie? Ready? Hold those plates up, you too. Do it. You do Here it. we go. Cook fresh, <laughs> cook fresh, cook off, and keep cooking with TGG. Mm -hmm.